Hi, happy Monday, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> whether you've caught yourself comparing yourself a lot to other actors. So you may be doing this, <clears throat> you know, when you're watching a movie and comparing yourself to others, thinking maybe you'll never be as good as them or you're better than them and you deserve to be in that movie more than they do. You might be doing that if you're going to an acting class or an acting studio. You might actually spend your time comparing yourself. Well, I'm better than this one. I'm not as good as that one. I have to get as good as that one. Um, you might be doing that in the audition room. Uh, you might be actually fantasizing about all the other actors that are taping at the same time as you are and thinking, are they going to be better than me? I should find a stronger choice than them. And yes, you may be doing that on social media if you're checking other people's profiles and then you're measuring yourself against them. And of course, that can be really annoying because there's so many thoughts that you can have about other people, right? Am I better than them? Am I worse than them? Am I prettier? Am I more handsome? Am I more ugly? Am I taller? Am I smaller? Are they more lucky than me? Are they smarter than me? Are they more talented than me? And it's like a downward spiraling loop. You can be doing that for a lot of the time. And obviously it has nothing to do with uh, creating any art. It has nothing to do with being fulfilled. It has nothing to do with feeling that you're actually on purpose and doing what you want and having the success that you want. So it's, it's really feels very competitive. It's incessant, it's constant, and it can get very toxic up there if you're caught in comparing loops um, and therefore you're not you know putting your attention on the character you're not defending the character you're stuck in your ego you're stuck into becoming better and so you may have caught yourself caught there and then you know you take a better class or in a better acting teacher or a better mentor or a better book so that you can become better than the others so you're still in comparison whether you think you're better or whether you think you're worse you're still off because you're not inside of yourself, right? And um, and you're not um, you're not able to be present, so you're not able to be the characters. Your your attention is not a hundred percent available for the character. So you're somewhere else. And what you're actually doing, and the root, the reason of why you're doing it is, you are trying to get your and assess your value from measuring up against others. So the reason you're doing that is that the way that you've been raised at home and at school has always been about comparing you to others. Like if you were having feelings, your parents may have said a lot, like why can't you behave like your sister or your brother or the neighbor or that little girl or your best friend? Why can't you do it like them? So there's always been comparison there. So it's part of, oh, I'm supposed to behave like others. And then definitely at school, being graded, being compared to each other. So you're finding your value from comparing yourself to other people because that's how you've been raised. You've been asked to conform to what others are doing. You've been asked to respect what others are telling you. So you've been raised to really determine yourself from others. So that's where the toxicity of comparison comes. And of course, if you're an artist, if you're involved in an artistic endeavor, comparison will not make you you, will not make you you be in your essence, will not make you embodied, will not make you creative, will not make any art whatsoever because you're just trying to be better or you're definitely running away from being worse. So none of that is creativity. None of that is alive. None of that is free. None of that is authenticity. It's all ego struggling to find its value and using other people to try and find its own value. So there's no fulfillment there. There's no success there. There's no art. There's no impacting an audience. None of it works. So if you're catching yourself there, Maybe you haven't caught yourself there, but maybe this discussion, you know, will give you some awareness about it the next time you're taping or the next time you're on social media and you'll be able to see like, oh, shoot, like I'm comparing myself 
to others because I'm trying to reassure my ego about the value that I have. I'm trying to get a boost the motivation because maybe I'm not as valuable as others. I'm unworthy. I'm not good enough. And therefore, I need to work. It's always going to be in comparison to others, in competition with others. And therefore, you're not using your own energy, your own instrument, your own authenticity, truth, freedom, instinct. You're not embodied. You're not in your instrument and actually feeling what you feel, knowing what you want, defending who you are through your characters. So the work we do in the reset is really to make sure that none of your value is no longer coming from, you know, pointing at others or taking from others or stepping ahead of others, but it's really just your value is innate. Your value is because you are, because you exist, because you were born, because you're who you are. And therefore, it's about really connecting with who you are. It's not about becoming better ever. It's not about improving ever. The work we do is against all the Instagram and the social media culture. You cannot possibly improve who you are because you are who you are. You were born perfect. There's nothing to change. What there is to move through is the conditioning, the beliefs, the wiring, the programming that make you believe that you're not good enough and that you have to be like others. And that's where you're spending your entire time comparing yourself to others because you were raised to do that. That's our culture. That's your education. And so it's not your fault. It's just a consequence of the way that you were raised. So if this makes sense, if you're interested, if you're, you know, ready to move on from those toxic loops of comparison, if you're feeling that it's not feeding you, it's not fulfilling you, it's not giving you the success that you want, the roles, the jobs that you want, then let us know. You can type in reset and we'll be happy to send you a link and send you some information about the work we do so that we can reset, help you reset to be who you were born to be. It's not about learning anything new. It's not about becoming better or worse than anyone else. It's really about being what you were born to be. So I hope this 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 makes sense and I hope to meet you soon and to see your reset. Bye.